In this demonstration, we will take a look at the three tabs that display on the left-hand side of the Captivate application screen when you are working in a Captivate project. These tabs allow you to view your project in three different ways. Storyboard view, edit view, and branching view. In this example, a project has been opened in Captivate. We'll start by looking at the project in storyboard view. Storyboard view appears by default when you open a project from the Captivate start page. In this view, the project displays as a series of small images that represent the slides in the project. Storyboard view provides an easy way to see all of the slides within a project at one time and to see the flow of the project. Using storyboard view, you can select multiple slides and change the properties of selected slides at one time. To select multiple slides, hold down the Shift or Control key and then click the desired slides. To select all slides, press Control A. Let's move on to edit view. Edit view appears when you double click a slide in storyboard or branching view. Let's double click on a slide to launch this view. After you record an Adobe Captivate project, you will probably spend most of your time in Edit View. In this view, you can add objects to a slide, such as captions, images, click boxes, video, and audio. You can also make changes to a slide, such as altering the mouse movement and changing the mouse pointer. In Edit View, you can also see the library. The library lists all media items in the project and allows you to view and reuse the images, backgrounds, audio, and animation in your project. In addition, Edit View contains the film strip, timeline, and notes panel. Finally, let's discuss branching view. To access the branching view, open an Adobe Captivate project and click the branching tab. The branching view provides a visual representation of all links between the slides in a project. In branching view, you can quickly edit those links. The left pane contains the properties, overview, and legend areas. Each of these areas can be collapsed or expanded as needed. The properties area allows you to view and modify the link properties for a selected slide. In this example, slide 1 is selected. The navigation link is set so that the movie will advance to the next slide once the selected slide is done playing. To change the link properties, select the appropriate navigation from the drop-down list. The overview area provides an overall view of the project navigation. The orange highlight box indicates which slides are shown in the main pane of the branching tab. To view a different group of slides, simply move the orange highlight box to the desired area. The legend area provides information that describes the types of navigation links in the project. For example, you can see colored arrows that indicate basic navigation, success or failure navigation, and branches between slides. The icons in the legend help you to read and understand the links between the slides in the main pane. The main pane displays the types of links between slides and lets you find and select any slide you want to review. The bottom pane displays notes for the slides selected in the main pane. You can add notes if needed. The branching view is especially helpful when creating projects that have question slides that require different paths for right and wrong answers. For example, you can set one action, such as go to the next slide, when a user supplies the correct answer. You can set a different action, such as open URL or file, when a user supplies an incorrect answer. For more information on the views available within Captivate, consult the Captivate Help System. This concludes the demonstration on using the storyboard, edit, and branching views within Captivate.